Art, food, and music. It's the Three Rivers Arts Festival in downtown Pittsburgh. Here is Dave Crawley with some of the more unusual features this year. Don't panic. That's not rain. That's the Gateway Center fountain. But rain or shine, the Three Rivers Arts Festival has begun. This is the Multiverse Wall. It's uh, by a local artist, Jesse Best. Arts Fest program director Sarah Aziz says the artist started this project with plywood boards. If you look at these sort of star bursts, um, they glow at night. One of those tedious chores of summer is digging up dandelions. I mean, they are weeds, aren't they? Well, not according to the artist who set up this installation on Liberty Avenue. The dandelions were created by a local artist, Karen Mintzmoyer. They're a pioneer species and they will grow anywhere and they're very nutritious and they sort of put their roots down and they release nutrients. I had no idea. But I know one thing that I love you. The featured performer is Michael Franti, whose wide range of talents reflects the festival itself. Total artist market booths, about 350. They change out halfway through the festivals. It's really a, a more high art, really professional artist festival. And of course, there's no shortage of food choices. One of the most unusual installations is the mobile sculpture workshop, which changes every day. In working and designing the sculpture, we utilize the, uh, the talents of local teens as apprentices. As for that Arts Fest tradition, we have a 10 day event. The likelihood that it's going to rain at some point is pretty good. <laughs> Just in case, bring your umbrella. Dave Crawley, KDKA TV News.